Hello again. Art is for those who are broken by life. So proclaimed the Impressionist artist Vincent van Gogh. He should know, and he certainly did know. The same could be said for the composer of the problem in front of us. His name was Markovich Simkovich, also known as Froym Simkovich, and he had a similar sort of a life by all accounts. He was from Russia and lived from the mid-1890s to the mid-1940s, so he was approximately 50 years old when he died and hadn't had an easy time of it. But during his life, he composed around about, it is reckoned, 85 problems, and the one in front of us is one of them, which was composed when he was around about the 40 mark in the mid-1930s. The problem in question is a mate in three, and from the point of view of white, we have to be extremely careful, as is always the case, that we don't allow black to have a stalemate situation. So we need to always keep that one in mind. There are two principal themes running through this problem, and if we look at Black's King, it cannot move, as is so often the case in these problems. However, what White is really wanting to do is this. Let's just sacrifice this queen here. Now, it has to be taken. And when it is taken, White marches on with this. Now, as can be seen, check. If this rook weren't on the ball, that would be checkmate. But, of course, the rook can interpose. That is an idea that White has that he would like to employ, but he is unable to do so just at the moment because of that rook. So, But we won't lose sight of the fact that that is a possibility. Another possibility is to move the queen to g1 and threaten mate down there on g4. Just imagine for a moment that if you could plonk this queen here, that would instantly be checkmate. So the question is, how do we resolve the issue of the rook? We need to get it to move away from being able to either interpose or on this line and capture the bishop. Or by capturing the bishop it makes no odds. That, that is one point to remember. So just take a, a good look at that position and bear in mind that this pawn can move. So what do we do here? Do we concern ourselves with trying to move the rook or stopping the pawn from moving? Or are they interrelated? Well, the answer to that question is they are interrelated, yes. Can you see the key move here? Well, the key move, in fact, is this. He's shutting down this pawn. The point is of this that if white were to play here, black would undoubtedly play here. And what he's doing here, he's creating the, the double defensive strategy that he's stopping the queen from going to g4, and he's also making a flight square here. So white shuts down that possibility, knowing, in the safe and certain knowledge, that on the next move he can play queen g1, and that f5 move cannot take place. So how does black respond to this? He no longer has the pawn push. So they're all rook moves. Well, the rook can move to 11 different squares. Let's, let's just eliminate, let me see, we'll eliminate five squares straight off. Now how do we do that? Well, should the rook move to here, or to here, 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 or here, then as can be seen what I've just explained about the sacrifice here, it would work because there'd be no rook on any of those squares that could possibly interpose. So that's five out of the 11. So there are six remaining. What about if he goes to the square? What do we do then? Do we play the queen to the G line? No, that, that wouldn't work because if you did, you can just play it back and there's no mate in three. So what you do in this case is you play here. You don't try and sack there because, like I say, he could take the bishop off and that would ruin everything. But not once you play the queen here, only if you try the queen sack. So you don't do that, you play queen a1. Now, what does black have in this position? Well, evidently, of the rook moves, if he plays here, you take d6. 
discovered checkmate. Should the rook move to here, you play checkmate. Should it move to here, you can go to here. And this explains what would happen if you'd taken the bishop, you'd play b4. The bishop's gone, but the pawn now guards the pawn and it's checkmate. So none of those rook moves will work. So of course if he plays here, you take it. You take it this time. You don't take it on the first move, of course, because you wouldn't be able to do anything with it. It's now that you take it. Should he play to here, 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 then that is a simple checkmate. And that is a nice one, isn't it? So that tells us that rook c3 to b3 does not work. So we've covered all these except rook f3. We're going to leave this until last and you'll see why as we get to it. So what about if he plays this way? What, what do we do against that? Our queen is still on h1. We played rook f5. He's answering it with rook c4. How do we play from this point onwards? What do we do? Well, we've no problem with that at all because what we do here is we play queen to f3 and as can be seen there's the dual threat of queen f4 mate or checkmate on any of these other squares so that is not a problem and equally should he play rook c2 we do exactly the same so there's no problem there whatsoever if he takes the knight then we play queen f4 and we're covering all this fourth rank which is essential no problem what about if he plays rook to c1? How do we deal with that? That's to here. Do we take the rook off? Well, let's take it off and we'll see what the result is. Now, I don't need to tell you, do I? No, you're telling me. Yes, it's stalemate, isn't it? So you're not too quick to take that off. So what do you do instead? Well, you do exactly the same as you did when he went here. And when he went here, you play queen f3, and then there is no defense to queen f4. What about if he takes this pawn here? What do we do in this situation? How do we handle that? Do we play queen f3? No, we, we don't play queen f3 there. That doesn't work. Because if you play queen f3 there, We have a repeat performance, although admittedly in a slightly different way to when he played rook c1 and we took the rook at stalemate because the rook is pinned, don't forget that. So we have to watch out for that one. So what do we play instead? Do we play our queen somewhere? We most certainly do. We play it here. He has to take it. And can you see the rejoinder? Yes. Note how the bishop is nicely covered by the rook here. And if you check that out, it's checkmate. That's a nice one. So now we come to the last variation available to black, which is rook f3, which I wanted to leave until last because it's a very instructive variation indeed. That's after our key move of rook f5. So we've checked all the rook moves out other than this one. Now this is pretty obvious and this, when I was solving this, this was my first choice as the reply to that because it shuts down any possibility of queen takes d5. So what does white do here? Well you remember me saying that he either wanted to sack the queen or play to the gila. Well he plays queen g1 and then no matter what black does it's mate on the next move because he's restricted to rook moves. Now, should he move his rook randomly, then, of course, it is queen to g4 mate. Should he move to here, for instance, as can be seen, there's no defense to it. Should he move to any of these along here, it's queen g4. Should he move to here, you just take the rook, the pawn gives check, backed up by the queen, and that is checkmate. So, if he moves here, this, this is a bit different, admittedly. All that you need to do is take it discovered check and that is mate. So I think we've covered all the moves along here along the third rank. 
What about if he plays like this? Okay, we just march the pawn as far as we can, discover check and mate. And finally, what about if he takes the rook off? How do we deal with that? Surely he now has a flight square. Well, he did, but what we do, this is quite ingenious, we replace the rook again. You notice how on this side we replace the bishop with the pawn b5 to cover this pawn. Now we've replaced the rook that's been captured with a pawn here to cover e5. Discovered check, checkmate. Isn't that a, a wonderful problem? I shall be uploading uh, in the not too distant future on a theme of this problem and uh, I'll alter it a little and it'll be for the viewer to decide whether this key move works or it doesn't and if not, what does work? Watch out for that one and until then, goodbye for now.